Hello, my friends. It's year 14, week number 689. And this week, we're having a spiritual experience. We have a couple of updates for this week. First of all, last week I was talking about how my radiator was broken again. Same issue I was having last year. And so this week we arranged to have a plumber come over to the apartment. It was my favorite plumber, the same guy from last year. Love this guy so much because uh, he's very expressive and he likes to sing as he does work. And like, he is this like extraordinarily thick New York accent. So it's like that combined with the singing and like he explains to me as he's working, he's like, I like to sing because my singing helps to like solve the problems. And he's just like this very charming guy who I worked with last year while he was fixing this thing, came back this year. And it was just like this nice like little reunion. You know what I'm saying? Like I see this guy every winter now. He comes by to fix my radiator. We have this nice relationship with one another. And I was just happy to have him back over here to fix this radiator situation. So everything's all good. It's nice because it is about 30 degrees outside right now. Very cold, but in here, my friends, I wish you could be in here right now because if you felt the temperature in here, it is the perfect amount of toasty going on inside of this apartment right now. So that's the first update is radiator is 100% fixed. Next update is over at B&H. They were doing a free camera sensor cleaning this week and we dropped by to get this camera clean. So this camera that I'm using right now, it is very fresh from the store. We went to the B&H, dropped off the camera. The wait time is like two hours. So I'm literally just walking around killing time. Just got some food. I'm gonna walk over to a coffee shop right now. And I brought a book. So we're just gonna go to the coffee shop and just like literally sit there and read for the next hour or so, and then head back over to B&H and pick up the camera. I got, for the first time ever actually, sensor cleaning, and they cleaned the lens too. So this is very, very fresh imagery happening right now. Two weeks ago on the video, I talked about how we made a new friend and how I was so shocked by how I met this person and the very next day, I just kind of like became instant friends with this new person. And this week, this person named Jenny invited me out to this thing that goes down here in Brooklyn called New York City Resistor. And what this is, it's basically like a group of people who rent out a space here and anybody who does any sort of creative work, they kind of create this space where people can come by, bring their project, and you can work on it collectively with whoever else is in attendance that night. And normally you need a membership to get access into this building, but every once in a while they host an open, kind of like an open invite night. So I met up with Jenny over at this thing. I took with me my next sewing project that I'm working on. Jenny was working on this like pin board. She has like a pin collection and she wanted to repair her board that she's making, like her display board. And so she took that. Everybody essentially takes whatever project they're currently working on. You meet up at this space and for the night, you can sit there and work on your project. You can talk to other people there who are working on their projects. And it's just kind of this nice, very communal feeling space to work on your creative projects. I did tell Jenny about this vlog project or like the existence of this thing that I do. So 
I don't know if she's gonna watch this, but if you are watching Jenny, shout out to you, my friend. I hope that when you return to New York City, we can go back to New York City Resistor once again. So we're going over to this new singles mixer, sort of an event tonight. And I say new because looking at the background of this company that puts this on, I believe they just started this at the start of this year, like possibly even this past summer. So it's a very new thing to the city. And the theme of this night, you know, I go to these things and there's always some sort of like a, like a draw for people. Like the previous one I went to was a board game night. Um, so there's like a theme that goes along with these things. And the one for tonight is very interesting because it has like a spiritual component or like a, um, I think the intent is that it's supposed to put you into a sort of meditative state and kind of open you up to experiencing things new with other people who, you know, you might not necessarily open yourself up in this sort of way when you're just getting to know a person. They sent out an email earlier today that really goes into detail about what to expect for the night. And part of the email is they detail the fact that uh, at some point during the night, there's going to be physical touching with like, so like people are going to be touching you and you're going to be expected to touch other people. And so there's like a whole like consent form component of this thing. And so I have no idea what I've gotten myself into. I signed up for this thing like a month and a half ago because I saw it online, thought it was interesting, decided to sign up. And here we are. Tonight is the night where I go and check out this kind of very, I don't know what you would call this. It's like a, a spiritual mindfulness sort of way of getting to know another person. I found out about this thing because um, I'm like signed up for this newsletter and every week they come out with like a new one where it's a bunch of like ads mostly, but it's to advertise for things that are like, um, just like events or different, like things like this, you know, like a lot of these types of things. And this is one of the things they had advertised for their newsletter back in like October or something. And so now my friends, we've signed up and here we are. There was a lot of things that we did that had to do with like getting in touch with how you feel physically and emotionally and kind of using that to sort of uh, interact with the other people who are there. Okay, I'm editing the video right now and I don't like how my explanation went. So I just wanna give more detail about what this was all about. So the way this worked is the whole event is very well facilitated. You do four random pairings where you get matched up with someone. And in between each of those pairings, the facilitator walks you through a meditation, like a short little meditation session. And during each pairing, there's like a very intimate, like you have a very short conversation with the person. And then there's like the physical touch portion of it. So the very first pairing was um, a long eye, what is it called? Like an, you look into the person's eyes, but you hold it for like four minutes. So it's like this very intimate feeling to just kind of stare at this stranger that you just met and to hold eye contact for like this extended period of time. The second pairing was um, a hand on the heart. So you place your hand on their heart and then they place their hand on your heart. And then you just kind of like hold it there for a brief moment while she walks you through a meditation session. The third one was a back-to-back -back sort of lean. So basically you sit on the floor with your partner and you sit back-to-back -back and then the facilitator tells you when, but essentially you lean onto your partner's back, like you bend backwards and then they do the same to you. So you lean forward as they're bending onto your back, right? And so it's this kind of like feeling of trusting this stranger and kind of I think in some way you're kind of building trust psychologically with your partner because of how intimate the whole thing is. And then the very last one is a long held hug. So you go into like the meditation situation again and then when they tell you, you hug your partner and you hold them and it just like lingers 
for like, you know, five, 10 minutes or something. And this all sounds very silly, but I think that like, when you're actually in the moment doing this with your partner, it's just like, it's a truly very intimate feeling with you and this person that you get paired up with. The whole thing, very well facilitated. Uh, it was like very consensual as well. So all of it just felt nice. And finally this week, last update is, I went on another date this week. This is the same person from last week um, we met up again. This time we went to go to an Ethiopian restaurant. Now, uh, my date was much more familiar with this cuisine. My first time ever eating this stuff. Extraordinarily good. This place, the visual style of the, you know, the interior and all this stuff, very nicely designed. So I think that contributed to the positive feeling of this place. We spent time eating there and then we walked over to a bar called The Armory. This was my first time over at this bar. Good drinks. It was very nice. The whole thing was very wholesome and fun. Um, that's all I have for this week. Just a bunch of small updates that I wanted to talk about for the video this week. This has been year 14, week number 689. Next week on the video will be week number 690.